So let's look at which one of these fractions is greater, 2 thirds or 7 eighths. You could just take a calculator, divide 2 by 3, get a decimal, 7 by 8, get a decimal, and compare them. And that would tell you which is bigger, 2 thirds or 7 eighths. The other way is to find a common denominator. Right now we have 3 and 8. But if we could find a number that 3 and both 8 went into evenly, then we could just compare the numerators. Let's do that. So I'm just going to take 3 times 8 here, and that'll give me 3 times 8 is 24. And then down here, I'm going to take 8 times 3. 8 times 3, that equals 24. And you can see now we have the same denominator. But I can't just multiply the denominator by 3. I need to multiply the numerator here by 3 as well. 3 over 3 is just 1. I don't change the value, just the way it's written. And 7 times 3 is 21. And 7 eighths and 21 24ths, they're the same number. They're the same value, just written differently. Up here, 2 times, we'd have to do times 8. That equals 2 times 8 is 16. And now we have the same denominator, we can compare the numerators. You can see 21 is larger than 16, so 21 24ths is larger than 16 24ths, and these are equivalent, same value, so 7 eighths, that's larger than 2 thirds. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.